What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, athletenext.com. Today I've got a brand new bicep workout for you that I want you to try, because I want to convince you that you either train hard or you train long, but you can't do both. The volume warriors are going to see once and for all that when you up the effort level, you don't need to go so long. And I want to convince you of that by having you do this exact workout. Now, what are we doing here? Well, first of all, I'm a little out of breath because I didn't want to wait to film this portion of the video after just doing this workout. I was pretty much laid out. I want you guys to feel and experience the same thing. So not am I, am I just going to come back and narrate what I did, but I'm actually going to do it in real time. I've got an instant replay that we can look on together. All right. So let's start looking right into this workout. There's two combinations here. One that I'm giving you three minutes to perform between two exercises, and the next one that you get three minutes to perform. So six total minutes is all it's going to take. So if you look at the first combination here, I'm starting sitting down. For me, that's a little bit of an oddity. As someone that likes to train athletically, I usually like to be on my feet, but there's a purpose for doing your barbell curl seated. And that is, number one, we're limiting the bottom range of motion here for a purpose. I'm going to get to that in a second. First though, look at what happens when I do this. I actually eliminate that bottom 20 degrees from the curl. And it's in that bottom 20 degrees that most of the initiation of a cheat would occur because that's where the sticking point is and we tend to lean and cheat to get through that. But now, even though I reach failure, I stand right up and I keep going because mechanically I know that now with a little bit of that forward lean and backward lean, I'm able to get a little bit more out of my biceps. So I take that first exercise here and I do it in a drop set fashion with whatever weight I have. Now for me, this is a fairly light weight. I'm used to curling 150 pounds. This is light for me, but for you, it might be something different. But the idea is go sub-maximally here in terms of the weight. The effort level will equalize this for me. So now I strip it out and I go back down to now just one plate on each side. Now this is the second benefit of this. By doing the seated down version here of the curl, by taking out that first 20 degrees of the curl, I'm also decreasing the contribution of the brachioradialis. And the brachioradialis is more inclined to trying to initiate the curl in the bottom because it's distal to the biceps, it acts first, and then when the biceps are at a more of a mechanical advantage to contribute, they take over and do most of the curl. So by doing this exercise this way, I'm favoring more bicep contribution, which is what we're trying to do. And I'm doing it in the stronger portion of the exercise when I'm most fresh. Only when I fail do I drop to the second portion here, which is standing, and I try to rep out a few additional reps done this way with the additional contribution of the brachioradialis to help me through that sticking point. Okay, now I strip it one more time. It's just the barbell. Light weights, but light weights at this point feel really damn heavy. Remember guys, your muscles cannot read the number on the side of a plate or a barbell or a dumbbell. All they do is know the tension that's being applied to them at the moment that you're lifting them. And the tension right here is pretty damn high as you can see. Those biceps are about ready to pop. So now I finished this first version here of this drop set, the last set here. I come back up again, and now I gotta rep out one more time up here at the top. I mean, at this point, I'm praying for every new rep that I get. Two and a half, maybe three. I don't know if I call that three. Yeah, it was two and a half and a, and a, and a dud of a fourth rep. But I've reached failure now. So now that's the first half here. Now we move to a second component, and that was all under three minutes. And I'm already wasted. I would give you a few minutes here to recuperate. But now we got to take it to the next stage. And the next stage here is going to be right here up against the wall. And this here is a strict curl. And when you do the strict curl, there's three points of contact that must stay in contact with the wall. It's the back of your head, the back of your, of your upper back, and your butt. Your arms can come away from the wall, your feet stay planted, but those three points of contact, as you can see here, must remain in contact with the wall at all times. Now, again, this is lighter than what I would use for a curl, but done in this format when I can't generate any extra momentum, I'm using a lighter weight. But it's no less difficult for me, especially given the second position here in the lineup to that first exercise combination. When I reach failure, I step away from the wall, same principle now, and I go and I perform a few cheat reps. And again, I'm getting more elbow extension here, not being blocked by the wall. This is extremely difficult. The idea here is push yourself. These are not fake faces, guys. I make these faces a lot because it actually is the ugly face I make when I train because the effort level is high. You shouldn't be able to train with a straight face. You should have some form of an ugly face to, to, to convince yourself 
that you're actually trying your hardest. Now, I strip one time again, just like I did in the last exercise combo. And I'm back up against the wall again. And again, I want you to take this to failure. You can see here, guys, I'm, I'm practically exploding. But the effort level's high. Again, trying to keep those points of contact there. That head's just about an inch or so away from the wall. Trying to keep it up there is difficult. And I come around the front. Again, maybe got another rep or so up. That head came down. See, your body knows how to cheat. Don't let it. Now I step away from the wall. And now I'm using a little bit of momentum. And I continue trying to get a last couple reps. Come on. So there I go. I get failure. Now I got one more shot. One more shot. I strip. I put on back just a 10. Some might accuse me of a slow strip here just to buy a little extra time. Could be right. <laughs> now I put that last 10 back on. Clip it in. Back up against the wall. And one more round. Again, you can see a little bit of that abbreviated range of motion there because of the elbows up against the wall will limit that bottom portion, but it has the same effect here. Limit a little bit of that brachioradialis taking over and being the fatiguing factor. I want my biceps to do the work. I come back around the front here. A few more repetitions, fighting for every single one. This is my last set, my sixth combo of six. Getting in here under three minutes for this segment and under a total time limit of six minutes total. And now I'm out here repping out one more time to failure. Couple deep breaths, last one, maybe one more, and done, and wasted. So guys, the idea is six minutes can give you an effective workout if you're willing to up your intensity level. I put out a previous workout series, the Soren 6. If you didn't try that, there's another bit of evidence there to convince you that you actually can do this if you're willing to train harder. I implore that you do, guys. Your best results are always going to be on the other side of higher effort, not necessarily on the other side of pure junk volume. If you're looking for a program that does understand this and trades in unnecessary volume for intensity at every opportunity, make sure you head to athletex.com to check out our programs. If you found the video helpful, if you're going to try the workout yourself, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know how you did. In the meantime, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys. See you soon.